In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to short hex. So if you hate hex, if you've never liked it, you just want to see it go down and you think it's going even more down, you can short it now and I'm going to teach you how with fiat.io. Really simple, go to the fiat.io website, that's P-H-I-A-T, the P-H stands for Paul's Hex Investor Allocation Tools, you're going to launch the app. Now everybody, this is a fork of the Aave protocol, I and mean, as we all know, the Aave protocol has been up and running for many years now. It's actually been one of the most successful protocols on Ethereum, and what is it? Well, really simply, it's decentralized borrowing and lending. Not leverage, but just simply borrowing and lending. How do you long a coin? Well, you essentially borrow a stable coin. Now you owe money on that stable coin because that's a loan, but you can use that borrowed stable coin to buy a coin that you like because you think it's going up. Then when the coin goes up, you could sell your original amount back of stable coins and go to pay off your loan and keep the difference of however much high the coin went up, right? And on the reverse side, if you don't like a coin, so Hex, for example, let's say you hate Hex. A lot of haters out there. This video is for you, everybody. If you want a short Hex, you can now borrow millions of Hex. Right, and then you can go sell it immediately on the market, and that way, when the price goes down, you can then go ahead and buy all those hex back that you owe, pay off your loan, and pocket the difference. Because you know, let's say you sold ten thousand dollars worth of hex, and the price went down fifty percent, you bought back all that hex for half price. Congratulations, you just made five thousand dollars. Now, stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna explain why shorting is, in reality, objectively, a terrible, terrible, awful idea. It's very simple. Unless you're a professional trader, and even if you're a professional, shorting is almost always worse than longing, okay? Because markets tend to go up and to the right over time regardless just by merely surviving. And really, guys, if you haven't figured out by now, I am not recommending anybody ever short hex. But if you really don't like it, here's how you do it. And by now, guys, I'm sure you figured this out. But if you can read between the lines, I am not recommending that anybody ever shorts anything. Shorting anything is a one-way ticket to Goblin Town, okay? It's a one-way ticket to death. You can blow up your whole stack. When you short an asset, the most you could possibly make is 100% if the coin goes drops literally 100%, which is unheard of, right? Now, when you long a coin, on the other hand, there is infinite upside. That's the thing about investing. There is infinite upside because the price can grow as much as, well, as much as people think it's worth. So longing a coin is way safer than shorting a coin. And if you don't want to take my word for it, go ahead and experiment. Now, use this platform at your own risk, okay? 90% of you guys out there watching, you probably don't even want to be using this platform at all because leverage trading, borrowing, going long, going short, these are advanced tools for serious investors, right? Serious long-term and really sophisticated investors that understand what they're doing. So for 90% of you watching this video, you probably shouldn't even be using this protocol at all, but stick around because I'm also going to tell you how to make passive income from this protocol. It's really simple. You just buy and hold their coin and you stake it over here and you could earn passive income in the form of revenue fees generated by the platform so it's basically like you are a partial owner of the casino so watch me right now we're going to go ahead and short hex let's go to my dashboard and we're going to deposit some assets because i don't have any assets on here right now we're going to go ahead and deposit some hex shall we let's deposit 69 hex and we continue right here now everybody i just made an error okay i cannot short hex with 69 i need a minimum of 250 hex okay so i've got to use at least a dollar or two dollars or something all right 250 hex going in for the short. Let's do it. I'm going to click deposit and look right here, guys. The utilization rate just means that of all of the hex deposited, 19.1% of that hex is actually being utilized in loans. So people have deposited a whole bunch of hex and 19% of that hex is uh, being lent out currently. So we're finished. Let's go to the dashboard. Here's what my dashboard looks like now. I have got two whole dollars to spend. So let's go crazy, shall we? And here's one thing as well. Here's a cool way to earn passive income as well. If you want to deposit this for other people to borrow, you can be on the lending side as well, and you can make 0.62 APY. Now, you might find this useful. You might not. As with every protocol, there is risk, okay? There is smart contract risk. This is forked from Aave. Aave is audited. It's been safe and running for a long time now. Fiat as well has been audited, but there's always risk, okay? But also, on the other hand, if you've got hex just sitting around and for whatever reason you don't want to stake your hex in the staking contract, I don't know why you wouldn't, but you can also earn a much smaller APY, putting it in here, 0.62%. Uh, for lending it out to other people. So you are rewarded just by depositing uh, your hex as a lender. So I could deposit more right here, okay? But I've already deposited 250 hex and I am already earning 0.62% just by keeping that in there, okay? This is one of my deposits and I can deposit more, uh, but I don't want to do that right now, okay? And of course I can withdraw it at any time. If I wanted to withdraw, I can withdraw the 250 hex that I've got sitting in there. 
But now, let's say I want to borrow. Let's say I want to go borrow a whole bunch of hex and I want to make a short, okay? I can now short, and I have up to 125. It's telling me my limits here. Based on my collateral, I can borrow 26,000 pulse, 97,000 pulse hex, or 125,000, 125 hex. Now, hex is the one I want to short, right? Because I'm a hater and I hate hex. I think it's going down. So, we're going to short. Ah, now I can short 69 hex perfectly. Okay, so new health factor, 1.99. Obviously, guys, if I increase the amount that I'm borrowing, it's going to tell me I'm more risky, right? And if I borrow only one hex, it's going to tell me that's very safe. 69, yeah, that's nice and in the middle. My health factor is 1.99. Continue. And I am going to have to pay 6.1% APY. So annually, if I were to borrow this much hex for one year, at the end of the year, I'd have to pay all that hex back plus 6.71% APY on top. And it is a variable rate, so it will vary day to day based on the conditions of how much uh, mark, how much coins are in the pool for lending and for borrowing. So I click the variable APY. I've only got this one option. I've got to click it, continue. And again, we've just got to pay a couple of gas fees here on Pulse Chain. They're super fast, super cheap. Just got to pay a penny for gas. And there we are. You can see right up here, there is currently 28 million hex total available that everyone's put up. And right now, again, 6.71 is my variable APY that could change, right? That could change tomorrow. It's variable. So be careful about this. You know, if there's not a whole lot of hex in the pools, if this goes down, I would guess that the variable APY is going to go up and then I'm going to have to pay more. But typically, the more available liquidity there is, the lower the rates would get. Okay, go back to the dashboard. Here we've got the dashboard. We've got my deposits and my borrows. So I've got a couple of hex sitting over here, earning me 6.2% APY. And I've got uh, my loan. Essentially, this is my loan, right? I borrowed 69 hex using collateral of 250 hex. So kind of silly to borrow hex when I already had the hex anyway, right? But you can do this with stable coins as well, right? Most people would typically be putting up stable coins or some other asset in order to borrow a different asset. And you can put up any asset and borrow any other asset. So I could have put up Pulse and take out a loan in Pulse X. Or I could put up uh, DAI, bridged in DAI, and I could take out a loan in wrapped Bitcoin, for example. And they offer all these coins right now, and I'm sure they're going to add more in the future. But right now, it's Pulse, Pulse X, Hex, DAI, USDC, USDT, and then wrapped Ethereum and wrapped Bitcoin. All right, back to my dashboard. So I've got a 55% borrowing power used. Because out of all the possible Hex I could borrow, remember they was going to let me borrow 125? I am borrowing 69%, which is just above half of 125. All right. And what does this mean? My current loan to value ratio, my, my loan to value ratio, my maximum loan to value ratio is 27%. And that is because 69 divided by 250 is 27%. So currently I have borrowed 27% of my total value that I have sitting in all my deposits. And you could have multiple different deposits here. I could have one Paul Sex deposit. I could have a USDC deposit. I could have multi multiple deposits going on and multiple borrows going on. Okay, but really simply right now, for simple demonstration purposes, I have deposited hex and I've, borrowed, and I've also borrowed hex against my hex. So I know it's kind of silly, but I'm here to short, right? Because I'm a hater. If I wanted to short using that 69 hex I just bought, I can go ahead and sell that 69 hex over on Pulse X, right? Over on the trading platform, the decentralized exchange. I could sell that for 50 cents, 50, about 60 cents today. And I would hope and I would pray and I would sit around and watch the screen all day and waste my life. And my friends and family would wonder where I was at. I'd be watching the screen. And I'd be hoping for Hex to go down to, I don't know, uh, it's at 0.8 pennies right now. Maybe it goes down to 0.7 pennies. Then I would buy it back. So first I would sell the Hex, right? That's how a short is effectively enabled. Shorting is really just selling the coins using money that's not yours. All right? You're taking out a loan. You're instantly dumping the coin. You're waiting for the price to go down. And then you're buying the coin back and pocketing the difference. Because you're buying the coin back for cheaper and you keep the difference. Now, I really shouldn't even be teaching you what shorting is. You are literally going to be better off. Your life will be better. I swear, your life will be better uh, if you just don't engage in shorting at all. Your life would probably be better if you didn't even know what the concept of shorting was. But there you go. I just explained it for you. This video is not for people that care about their investments or that I want to hold on to their money. Okay, this is for people that want to wreck themselves by shorting hex. So if you want to short it, go ahead. And that's what you do, right? You would deposit some money, whatever coin you want that's available in the market. You would take out a loan in the form of hex. You'd go dump the hex on the market, wait for the price to go down, buy it back, pocket the difference. Now, is this a good strategy? Absolutely not. This is a terrible, terrible strategy. But how would you make passive income? Thanks for sticking till the end. This is the really cool passive income part. 
if you sacrifice your fiat or if you might want to buy some fiat tokens on the market, you can stake those PHIAT tokens. And if you want to go get some PHIAT tokens, there's a really easy PulseX interface. It's gopulsex.com slash coffee. Link in description below. But yeah, you can go ahead and buy some of this fiat token. And the reason you might want to do that, look, I'm not recommending whether or not you want to buy it. That's totally up to you. I have some fiat tokens. I'm currently liquidity providing for them. I'm currently personally not staking. But one day I might. Because look, out of all the fiat in existence, 55 million, 35% of it, 19 million of it has been staked. And it's, we're only on day one. Okay, so we're only on day one. And already over one third of all the fiat in existence has been staked. That's a lot. Okay, just be warned. If you decide to stake your fiat, if you decide to stake your fiat tokens, there is an unlocking period of 14 days, meaning you have to wait two weeks to get your fiat back. So just know that, you know, you can't just stake and unstake all day long. If you stake, you have to withdraw within, after 14 days, you have to wait 14 days, and then you have seven days to do so. And if you forget, right, if you forget after that seven days, it'll just go back into the staked mode. All right, so don't forget, because then you're going to have to wait another 14 days, and then you, you better get it that time, otherwise you'll be in a vicious cycle. Now look at the staking APR currently, it is 4.06%. That's not bad. That's not necessarily too bad. If you want to make passive income, maybe you sacrifice for this coin. This might go up over time too, as more platform fees are generated, because every time you take out a loan or you borrow and lend, there's a tiny little platform fee, and those fees get divvied up to all of the fiat stakers proportional to how much you have staked. So if you own 1%, if you're staking 1% of the fiat supply, you'll be getting 1% of all the fees, okay? Now in general, what that looks like right now for people is about a 4% APR, annual percent return. And look, if you don't have any fiat, there's some handy links right here. Purchase fiat on PHUX and learn about staking and risks. So learn about the documentation if you want. Guys, it always helps to read about what you're investing in, right? Do your own research, all that stuff. But this is the passive income portion on the staking tab right here. Now, they've also got links out to their other apps. Fame is Leverage Trading. It's not released yet. PHUX is a balancer fork. These are deep liquidity pools for stable coins. You can buy index funds. And then Fatty. Fatty's awesome. Okay, Fatty's awesome. Fatty is a fork of D-Bank, I believe. And it's basically just a portfolio tracker. So you can track all of your different yield farms, all of your different token balances across many, many wallets, and a lot more. You can track whales. There's a whale watching app. Check out all these guys' stuff. The PH ecosystem is something to keep an eye on. But that's how you short hacks, everybody. That's how you short hacks. Let's go to the markets one last time. Let's click on hacks in general. We can see right now 6 million, almost 7 million hacks is being borrowed. That's $58,000. And 28 million hacks is up for potential liquidity to be borrowed. So 28 million is deposited. And of that 28 million, about a quarter of it, about 7 million, is being borrowed. So you can see all the handy stats right here. You can see my deposits, my borrows, right? I've deposited 250, borrowed 69, nice. And available to me is currently 55 hex left to borrow. This would be the maximum that I can continue to borrow, right? If I wanted to, I don't really want to. Guys, I'm not actually shorting hex. But for you haters out there, this is how you do it. Very, very simple. Now this platform has been out on Ethereum for many, many months. So it's had a good track record. It exists on Ethereum or Pulse Chain. You can click on this button right here flip-flop your networks in between ETH and Pulse Chain. And let me just tell you, if you're worried about the safety, again, there is always risk. That is definitely true. Be careful, take responsibility for your own smart contract risk, but it's been working on ETH for a while. It's a fork of a safe protocol called Aave that everybody knows. And it just launched on Pulse Chain three days ago. And after three days, it's already got $1.5 million of TVL. That's pretty good. Let's see where we're at after two weeks, two months, two years, okay? These things seem to be growing at a very fast rate. People seem to be utilizing the fiat ecosystem and the whole PHA ecosystem in general. Fox, fame, fatty. So if this is attractive to you, that's how you do it. You could short, right? You could long. You could simply just deposit funds and collect the APY from leaving the funds on there. You don't have to short or long. You can make APY just by depositing DAI, make 1.27% a year. And finally, of course, you can stake the fiat token, just like staking the Aave token to earn passive income in the form of revenue from platform fees. So that's basically four things you could do. Stake fiat, borrow, lend, or just deposit, sit on your butt, and make APY. I hope you learned something from this video. Again, 90% of people should not be interested in this. Your life will be better off if you're not spending all day glued to the screen, leverage trading, borrowing, lending, going long and short. Guys, this is the best, most boring non-financial advice I could give anybody. 90% of people are better off just buying and holding coins for the long term and not 
overcomplicating things with risky strategies like this. I'll see you on the next video.